Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Kol Halal Yom La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barakah Hakodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Barakah Hakodash means in the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, on the way we can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. It's Brother Mathathi from the Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines. And I'm not sure what I'm going to title this lesson just yet. But as you can see here on your screen, this is a lesson from the elder Yashawamba. Uh, down in Dallas, you see his page, Remnant Save 144. And the title of this lesson is, The Root of Bitterness Leads to Grudging and Chokes Out the Spirit. And um, the part of this lesson, you know, I, I want to speak on, you know, um, he spoke about uh, allowing, you know, uh allowing someone else's bitterness to, to 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 get upon you you know i forgot how he worded it but uh we have examples man you know throughout my little time i've been here man i've seen it myself where you have a a, a disgruntled member you know and then they'll start complaining or they'll start you know ultimately sowing discord that's ultimately what it is man you know they start to sow discord and then you got, you know, a brother that start listening to those things. And now they're coming to the leadership like, well, why did that brother get kicked out? Or why did this happen to that brother? And, and like the elder said, a lot of times when guys get removed from amongst us, man, you know, it's not always made public. You know, it's things uh, uh, that that brother was doing. It's things that that guy was doing. You know, the way he was moving, the way he was conducting himself, right? was not uh, uh, in the spirit. And the scripture speaks about, um, how is it worded? That the ministry be not blamed. You see, because we're reflective of this doctrine, man. You know, how we move, how we think, how we have our being. It should all reflect our teachings. It, it should all reflect the things that we read out of the, uh, out of the book. You know, and that's, that's truly putting on Yahweh Shai. And if a guy's not moving... In that spirit, he will be removed, man. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 3, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. And like the elder said, sometimes the offense that a guy does is not made public. You know? And even within that self, that is, uh, uh, that is love, <laughs> right? Because just because a guy gets removed from us, doesn't mean that he's not a man of the Lord, like the elder stated within his lesson. So sometimes, man, you know, uh, a guy offense is not made public or it's not put out there because there is room for that guy to uh, correct himself, for that guy to repent and eventually get brought back into the fold. This is the book of Proverbs 17 and 9. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, you see. So sometimes, you know, when, when guys do things, man, it, it, it's not it's not made public. It's not put out for the whole congregation to know or to see. So it says, he that covereth a transgression seeketh love. And that's love right there, man. But he that repeateth a matter separateth very friends, man. You know, and then it comes to a point where this guy constantly adding offense upon offense upon offense to the point where what? Now the Holy Spirit is like, look, nope. Now it's time to expose this individual. Now it's time to uh, put this individual, uh, individual out there on, 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 you know, in the public. Put him on forefront, man. So that his folly can be made manifest to all, <laughs> you know, like it says in the book of Timothy about uh, Janice and Jambres, those two uh, uh, Egyptian sorcerers, man. And why did Paul liken uh, uh, these the, these men unto uh, Egyptian sorcerers? Well, it goes back into first uh, Samuel, the 15 chapter it says rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, man. So these guys are showing forth to be rebellious. Right. And like the elder stated, man, uh, 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 sometimes a lot of times, really, you know, because when certain things happen, you know, it ain't it ain't it, it ain't really made known to everybody. If a guy get removed, man, you know, we will we, we get the message like, hey, this particular this particular cat is not a part of us. No longer. No, uh, no more uh, communication with that guy. You know, the details are not given all the time, man. Right. And that goes into, you know, pretty much the topic of this lesson, because we're on a need to know basis. 
you know, here on this earth, man, we're on a need to, every last one of us is on a need to know basis when it comes to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, right? Because it tells us, it tells us here in the book of uh, Sirach, this is the book of Sirach 18. I'll start at one. He that liveth forever hath created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but he who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. Everything is obedient to our Heavenly Father, man. For he is the King of all, by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. To whom hath he given power to declare his works? And who shall find out his noble acts? Who shall number the strength of his majesty? And who shall also tell out his mercies? As for the wondrous works of man, look, it, it speaks about uh, how, how is it? it says, who shall tell out his mercies, man? Um, how is it worded? In the book of Psalms. This Psalms 40 might be what I'm thinking of, but uh, I thought it was one that said how the Lord's mercies, man, you know, is more is more than uh, the hairs on my head. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking of that Psalms 40 when it's talking about the evils, but even still within that, you know, it speaks about in Psalms 130. Right. If the Lord will uh, 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 number iniquities, who shall stand? But there is a uh, uh, let's get that, you know, because the mercies of the Lord is innumerable, man says who shall search out his mercies <laughs> you know and we we don't even know the full extent of the lord's mercy and how and how he's moving throughout the earth man psalms uh, 130 and 3 if thou yahweh basham yahweh shai shouldest mock iniquities O lord who shall stand but there is forgiveness with thee that thou mayest be feared and it speaks about how his uh, uh mercy is extended uh, uh as far as the east is from the west man Roughly paraphrasing, that's another precept in the book of Psalms. But anyway, let's go back. Uh, Sirach 18 and 5 again. Who shall number the strength of his majesty, and who shall also tell out his mercies? As for the wondrous works of the Lord, they may, there may nothing be taken from them, neither may anything be put unto them, neither can the ground of them be found out. You see that, man? You can't add nothing to the Lord's creation. You can't take away from the Lord's creation. Right. Neither can the ground of them find, be found out, man. How heavy is that? Verse seven. When a man hath done, then he beginneth. Right. You got Esau searching out, you know, uh, uh, the ocean, searching out these different animal. Or this animal is uh, he give it this, this bogus ass Latin name. And he thinks he's done or oh, I counted all the animals on the earth. Nope. You just begun, my nigga. Right. See, this how vast and how. How far out, man, our power is, man. Our Heavenly Father is in, in, in his works. It says, when a man have done, then he beginneth. And when he leaveth off, then he shall be doubtful, man. Because there's always something else to, <laughs> to discover. You think that you didn't discover everything you leave off and then, then 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 what? You realize, oh shit, I ain't see that. Oh shit, what, what species is this? A new plant, a new animal, a new area. Esau haven't even searched out all the land, man. There's still parts of the earth, <laughs> right? It speaks about in Job how, there, um, you know, the birds, man, the birds fly all over the world. It speaks about in Job how uh, it's parts of the earth the birds ain't even uh, uh, um, uh, flew over, man. I'm roughly paraphrasing that, you know? Let's see if I can find that up, man. Yep, Job 28 and 7. There is a path which no fowl knoweth, and which the vultures I have not seen. <laughs> you know? Look, verse 5. It lets you know it's talking about the earth. As for the earth, out of it cometh bread, and under it is turned up as it were fire. Right? You got the volcanoes and lava coming out of the volcanoes, man. You see? And the book of Job is a, a, a very 
scientific. That's true science when you read the book of Job, man. It speaks about the stars and the workings, you know, the, the weather patterns and the workings of the earth. And man, it, it is beautiful when you read it. Verse six, the stones of it are the place of sapphires and it have dust of gold. There is a path which no fowl knoweth and which the vultures I have not seen, man. You see? So, so, so the works of the Lord, man, <laughs> you know, and that's just the earth. This devil will tell you he searched out all the land. No, he didn't. You know, and he, and he admit that uh, he haven't searched out all the ocean either, man. You know, <laughs> you know, it speaks about the innumerable creatures that's, that's, that's dwelling in the deep. But the point being is that we're on a need to know basis with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. It tells us that he, he haven't given us power. This is Sirach 42. It's like it. This is Sirach 42. Yep, and 17. The Lord have not given power to the saints to declare all his marvelous works, works which the Almighty Lord firmly settled, that whatsoever is might be established for his glory, man. You see that? So the Lord didn't even give, you know, his saints, his own people. All the knowledge to declare everything he's done, man. It tells us, I believe it's the same chapter. Yep. Verse 22. Oh, how desirable are all his works and that a man may see even to a spark, man. So when it comes to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, we are on a need to know basis. Even Yahweh Shai himself did not, did not our Lord say that uh, he don't know the, uh, uh, his, uh, the day of his return. It's a lot. Mark 13 and 32. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. You see that? Need to know basis when it comes to the Father, even when it comes to Yahweh Shah. So now when it comes to the leadership right down on the earth, the Holy Spirit that's flowing from the heavens down to the earth through the leadership, man, is all on a need to know basis. Right. There are things that's happening back in New York with the apostles that ain't being told that ain't being trickled down. <laughs> you see, likewise, it's going on uh, when you when, when, when you go down man, into the elder bishops. Right. You go down into the different heads of the camps. You see. So we're all on a need to know basis, man. And if the Holy Spirit see fit for us to uh, 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 to know it, then, you know, that's what it is. You see, that's why it speaks about. Because it comes to a point, look, where we just got to work out our own salvation, like the scripture says. We can't worry about the next man or what the next man got going on. Oh, what, 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 why this guy? You know, what's wrong? He got kicked. All that. Nah, fuck all that, man. Focus on what we got going on, man. Focus on what the, the relationship, you know, that Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah is establishing with us, man. We can't worry about the next man's relationship with the Lord. You can do what you can to advise a brother and give him sound counsel through the spirit. But hey, hey, other than that, man, we got to work out our own salvation, man. That's it. That's all. Right? Because now we don't want to be guilty. Of being a busybody, man. This is the book of uh, 1 Peter 4. In 15, it says, but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters, man. <laughs> you see? That's why, man, Paul wrote about it, too. How did he, uh, how did he word that? Yep, I think this is it. 
This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 4. And uh, I started 9. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you. For ye yourselves are taught of the most high to love one another. And indeed ye do it toward all the brethren which are in all Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more. Right? And that should be our mentality. How can we better grow as individuals, man, in order to increase, and to increase the brotherly love amongst each other? Right? Because that brotherly love is charity, man. And that charity, man, it, 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 it's the bond of peace, as Paul told us in Colossians. You know, that charity is what holds all things together. Did not Yahweh Shah say, you know, uh, uh, the greatest commandment is to love Yahweh why Yahweh Shah with all thy uh, heart, mind, body, and soul. And, and the second is like unto it to love thy neighbor as thyself. So you can't say you love the most high. Here it is, but you harbor in hatred or bitterness to uh, 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 to one of your brothers, man. You see? But verse 11, and that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as, as we commanded you, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without and that ye may have lack of nothing, man. You see? I know Paul, uh, what is that other one, man? Because he spoke about, um, there was a report, some work not, not at all. That's that's what he said. Let's see. Yep, Second Thessalonians three. Verse 7. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 7. Matter of fact, I'll start at 6. Now we command. Man. Let's start at 1, man. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 1. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. And there might be unreasonable and wicked men amongst us, man. And just because, you know, you might have a, a relationship or you might have some type of an affinity toward a, a certain guy. Look, if he ain't moving in the proper spirit, man, hey, you got to cut it off. It's better that you go into the kingdom maimed than that the whole body should be destroyed. You see? And once again, we ain't got to know the uh, the whole details of, of of why this particular brother is being excommunicated or whatever man you see because we're operating through the holy spirit man and if you believe in the holy spirit then you know that the holy spirit doesn't make mistakes it doesn't make mistakes <laughs> right and like the elder yashwamba always say man you know a you know that was that was written in that brother's story you know for whatever reason man that's how the lord ordained it might be for a trial for that brother, something for that brother to need to learn, something that brother need to fix and repent from and eventually get brought back in, or to it be mad or so it could be manifested that, that that he was a nigga the whole time, man. However it plays itself out though, but we gotta be um working out our own salvation, man. You see, there's a balance within this thing. Like we 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 talk about, you know, being selfless, you know. It's scripture says not to look on every man his own things, but on the things of others. But there's a certain balance to that. There's a certain level of, 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 of uh, selfishness we have to have within ourselves. And I say that by meaning we have to work out our own salvation, man. You know, we got to stay the course. No matter if a guy's starting to, 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 to fall or, or, or to look back or to, 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 to stagger a little bit, man. Once again, as a brother, we're going to do our part to encourage that brother. We're going to do our part to uplift that brother and try to, you know, lift the feeble hands in the, in the weak, in the, in, in the, uh, the feeble knees and the weak hands. I forgot how the scripture says it, you know. But if that's a part of that guy's story, man, uh, 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 to look back, to fall back, man. Hey, shit, I ain't trying to fall back or look back with his ass. You see? And we have to understand that, you know. Verse two, and that ye, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. 
but the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. And the Lord direct your hearts into the love of the Most High and into the patient waiting for Yahweh Shah. The patient waiting for Yahweh Shah, man. Now, where patience goes into suffering. You know? And a part of the suffering is uh, you might have, you know, guys that you have grown a relationship with, man. That that that, that what? That has to, that, that has to go separate ways. That's just a part of it. You know, but verse six. Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shahamashiach, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly. You see, when you go into that word disorderly, out of ranks, inordinate, deviating from the prescribed order or rule, man. You see that? Rebellion. He was rebellion. Rebell uh, 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 rebels will not be tolerated, man. You see what happened to the rebels in the wilderness, man, when they uh, uh, bucked up against the prescribed order, when they bucked up against the order of Moses and Aaron. What happened to them guys, man? You see? And when you further read in that account, what happened? You had guys that was bitter off what happened unto Korah, Abraham, and Dathan to the point where what? They started murmuring against Moses and Aaron. Are you the reason that that happened to them? You see, you see, so we, we can't fall into that, into that same bitterness, man. And what happened to those niggas, man? They got their ass destroyed, man. So it says that ye withdraw yourselves. What's the word withdraw? To arrange, to remove, to withdraw. To abstain from familiar intercourse with one, you see? That you withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly, and not after the tradition which which he received of us. See? The word tradition. It says, uh, giving over which is done by word or mouth, or in writing, i.e. tradition, by instruction, narrative, precept, man. Objectively, that which is delivered, the substance of teaching, of the body of precepts, man. So there's, look, specifically the traditionary law, a precept, an ordinance or tradition. So there's a way that we're supposed to conduct ourselves. There's an order. Let everything be done decently and in order. You know? There's a way we move. There's a way we conduct ourselves. That's a way, There's a way we have our being. And we learn that from the men who was established to guide us, man. Verse 7. For yourselves know how ye ought to follow us, for we behave not ourselves disorderly among you. Neither did we eat any man's bread for naught, but wrought with labor and travail night and day, that we might not be chargeable to any of you. Not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an example unto you to follow us, man. So they was like, yeah, we, we, we could have, you know, exercised our power. You know, we could have, you know, just uh, ate of y'all's substance and... And, 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 and just taught y'all and we didn't have to work with our own hands but they said what we are setting an example for you to follow after us right so they were working with their own hands they were getting their own money man they were e eating their own food not to say that the brothers wasn't taking care of them but once again it's an example that's being set once again as we just read verse 10 for even when we were with you this we commanded you that if any would not work neither should he eat for we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies, man. And we can't fall into that, into that, uh, uh, into, you know, this spirit, man, to bustle about uselessly, to busy oneself about trifling, needless, useless matters. You see? We have to worry about what the Lord is doing with us, man. Used apparently of a person officiously inquisitive about others' affairs. <laughs> you see that? So once again, we got to worry about how the Lord is, is guiding us, man. That's it. Verse 12. Now, them that are such, we command and exhort by our Lord, Yahweh Shahamashiach, that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. But ye, brethren, be not weary in well-doing. 
And if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man and have no company with him, that he may be ashamed, yet count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. You see, so a guy might get removed just so what he can be ashamed so that he can uh, 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 reflect upon himself so that he can repent. And then eventually, you know, Lord's will that the Holy Spirit will bring that brother back, man. See, you admonish him as a brother. But what happens, man, a lot of guys allow that, that root of bitterness to grow in them. Then they start to talk shit and then it's manifested. Nope, this nigga was a demon the whole time. You see? And there's an example, right? And this is, the, and this is an example of brothers in the faith, right? This is a, 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 a Peter being the head and John, right? Let's 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 read this. Uh, let's start here at um, verse 14. This St. John 21 and 14. This is now the third time that Yahweh showed himself to his disciples after that he was risen from the dead. So when they had dined, Yahweh said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Right. And it was talking about the, uh, the fish. Because Peter was a, a fisher by occupation, man. That was his job. So Yahweh Shah, like, hey, hey, do you love me more than, 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 than what you do for a living? Right? He saith unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto, unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And three is understanding. So it's showing us, you know, what Yahweh Shah is telling the head, uh, the head apostle, which should trickle down to each and every last one of us, man. The rest of his disciples. Right. So it says Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shah said unto him, feed my sheep. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, when thou was young, thou girdest thyself and walkest whither thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands and another shall gird thee and carry thee whither thou wouldest not. This spake he signifying by what death he should glorify the most high. So pretty much what Yahweh Shah was telling Peter in this 18th verse was that he was going to uh, uh, die a certain way. Right. He was explaining to Peter, this is, this is a, a, you know, this is what they're going to do to you. You see, verse 19 again, this spake he signifying by what death he should glorify the most high. And when he has spoken this, he saith unto him, follow me. Then Peter turning about, see if the disciple whom Yahweh Shah loved following and this, and, and, and the, the, the disciple that was following after them was John. And it's going to let you know which how how we know that which also leaned on his breast at supper. See, John, the revelator, was the one that leaned on Yahweh Shah's breast at the Last Supper, man. And said, "Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee?" Right, and he was the one that asked Yahweh Shah that question. Verse twenty-one. Peter, seeing him, seeing who, so Peter and Yahweh Shah was walking off. Then Peter looked back and seen John following him. You see. Just painting, painting, painting the scenario, painting the picture so you can form it in your mind. Peter, seeing him, said to Yahweh Shah, Lord, and what shall this man do? <laughs> so Yahweh Shah was explaining to Peter how he was going to die, you know, what he was going to suffer for his namesake. Then Peter looks back and sees John and asks, OK, so what about him? Verse 22, Yahweh Shah said unto him, if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. So Yahweh Shah said, look, what, 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 what if I keep him alive till I come? You know, I, I said, I told you, you're going to die for my name. What if he stay alive? What is that to you? What the, what the hell that got to do with you? You follow me, man. So what are we learning here? We can't be worried about what the next brother got going on, man. And once again, that's in a proper balance. We have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, man. Verse 23. Then went this saying abroad among the brethren that that disciple should not die. So they was they was like, oh, shit. Yahweh Shah said John wasn't going to die. Yet Yahweh Shah said not unto him. He shall not die. But if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? 
This is the disciple which testified of these things and wrote these things. And we know that his testimony is true. And who wrote this? St. John. <laughs> you see? And there are also many other things which Yahweh did, the which, if they should be written, every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. You know, so once again, a need going back to we on a need to know basis, man. You know, the Lord told Moses certain things that he told him not to uh, not to write down. The Lord told John right on the island of Patmos certain things that the that the that the th the, uh, the thunders uttered, you know, that he told him not to write down, man. So we're all on a need to know basis when it comes to the most high, even our Lord Yahweh Shah don't know it when he's going to return. And when it trickles down to the order here on this earth, we're all on a need to know basis, man, flowing down through the Holy Spirit. So don't allow that, 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 that bitterness or what about this guy or, you know, no, no, we, we can't allow that to, you know, to interfere with our relationship and what we got going on with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, you know, so. Just wanted to, you know, to add on to the, the Elder Yashawamba. You know, I didn't even finish the, the whole video, as you can see, you know, uh, as he was speaking. You know, the spirit stirred w w within me, you know, and um, I hope this was edifying. The Wadi Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, for giving me a spirit to do this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Baruch HaKodash, <coughs> Baruch HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who are preaching the gospel in truth and sincerity, always in charity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly. Peace, blessings, salutations to you brothers, you few sisters that may be listening and uh, learning in silence. Shalom to you, uh, to you and to your households. Rock a thumb. Shalom.